Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from GreenSock, and today I want to talk to you about animating CSS variables, otherwise known as custom properties. Animating CSS variables is really cool because you can animate one variable and it can impact multiple elements. In the demo that's running here, I want to show you that I have just one simple line of tween max code that's making multiple things change color. Before I get into all that though, let's just talk a little bit about how CSS variables work. All right, I'm going to run this demo fresh and you're going to see that multiple things here are green, okay? And we're gonna explain why. In this HTML rule that I have set up here, I'm assigning a CSS variable. You'll notice the syntax is dash dash my color, and I'm giving it the value of green. This dash dash in front of my color is according to the CSS spec, okay? So when we're setting up CSS variables or custom properties, you must put dash dash in front of the name, and my color is the name of the variable that I came up with. It could have been my favorite green or my favorite color in the whole wide world, but my color is short and makes sense right now. So once I've defined that my color variable, I can reference it in multiple rules throughout my CSS file. You'll see here I have a class of wrapper which is being applied to a div that wraps around these elements. And I have a border on the wrapper and I'm referencing my variable color by using this syntax var and then in parentheses I'm passing in dash dash my color. This is all according to the CSS spec. This is nothing fancy that GSAP needs. This is just straight CSS at this point. Scrolling on down, you'll see that I have my heading two and strong are also using that same variable for the color. So that means that this heading two is going to be green and this text here wrapped in a strong tag is going to be green as well. And lastly, I have this cool class that has a background color, again, using the my color variable. So it is also green. So the power of CSS variables is that at any point in time, I can change my color to be pink or any other color, and then multiple elements get updated. Now, you may be familiar with using variables in CSS if you're using preprocessors like SAS or less, but the beauty of these native CSS variables is that they can be changed at runtime. And what I mean by that is I can inspect this element here and notice I have the heading two applied and you'll see that its color is referencing var my color. All right, I can't change that value here, but if I go up to the HTML tag where I've defined that style, you'll see that HTML has my color pink. So in the browser, I can select that color and I can change it to anything I want. So you'll see that the color is being updated. So since the browser has shown us that we can change this value at runtime, we're gonna use tween max to animate this type of a color change. So let me just get out of my dev tools here. I'm gonna change this back to the uh, green that I had. We'll run it. All right, very good. And then let's go to my JavaScript panel. I'm going to animate this CSS variable with the tween max to tween. So I'm gonna do tween max dot two. And the target of this tween is going to be this HTML selector here in my CSS style sheet. So I'm going to do HTML and the duration is going to be one. And the property that I'm going to be animating is going to be this CSS variable dash dash my color. And to reference that inside my tween, I might do dash dash my color and then assign a value like orange. The problem with this though, is that this syntax would be incorrect. In JavaScript, this dash dash is going to be seen as a decrement operator, okay? And we don't want that happening. So what we're going to do is wrap this value here in quotes to make it a string. So now if I run, we should see that this thing animates from green to orange, and it did that right before our eyes. I wanna see that a few more times. So I'm just gonna do a yo-yo of true on here and a repeat of minus one. And let me give myself just a little bit more room. I'll run and now you'll see that we're animating that color value from green to orange and multiple elements are being updated. We'll take a quick little peek behind the scenes to see what tween max is doing for us. And if we scroll on up to this HTML node here, you'll see that an inline style is being applied and you'll see that we have that my color variable is having its value animated for us and thus everything that uses that variable will be updated. So again, we have one simple tween. It's changing the value of a CSS variable. 
that CSS variable is being referenced in multiple CSS rules, which means that when that variable changes, everything that has these different rules applied to it will change as well. I've only covered the basics here by tweening a simple color, but you'll be able to tween any numeric value inside of your CSS. I think this is going to open up a lot of doors for some really cool animations. If you make something cool, be sure to hit us up on Twitter or post in our forums. Happy tweening.